can you solve this nice exponential equation which is 3 raised to the power x plus 3 raised to the power x plus 3 raised to the power x is equal to 216. Now solution to this. Solution, we have that 3 raised to the power x is common, okay? We have 3 raised to the power x, 3 raised to the power x, and 3 raised to the power x. So this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power x, we factor out. Then we'll have 1 plus 1 plus 1, this is equal to 216, okay? Now from what we have here, this is 3 raised to the power x multiplying by, this is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3, this is equal to 216. <clears throat> now from what we have here, you divide both signs by 3, so that we have 3 raised to the power x, this is equal to 72. If you divide 3 here, this is 7, 72, okay? Now, from what we have here, so for the value of x, we introduce the natural logarithm such that this is rog 3 raised to the power x. This is equal to rog 72, okay? Now, rog 3 raised to the power x, this is in the form of rog m raised to the power n, which you can express as n rog m, okay? Now, from what we have here, this is the same thing as rog 3 raised to the power x becomes x rog 3. This is equal to rog 72, okay? Now, rog 72, that is 72 can be expressed as 9 multiplied by 8, okay? Which we can express as 3 squared. That is 9 can be expressed as 3 squared multiplying by 8 okay now from what we have here we'll have x rog 3 this is equal to rog 3 squared multiplying by 8 okay now from what we have on the right hand side this is actually in the form of rog a multiplying by b which you can transform as rog a plus rog b okay now we're going to have x rog 3 this is equal to rog this is 3 squared plus rog 8 okay now we have x rog 3 is equal to rog 3 squared plus rog 8 so divide both signs by this rog 3 rog 3 divided by rog 3. Now from what we have here, this is x is equal to, now rog 3 squared can be expressed as 2 rog 3 divided by rog 3 plus this is rog 8 divided by rog 3. So let's simplify here so that we have x is equal to 2 plus rog 8 divided by rog 3 this is actually in the form of rog A divided by rog B, which you can express as rog A to base B. So let's apply this property so that we have rog 8 to base 3. Now, this is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation, okay? Now, if you recall, we end that 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x this is equal to 216 okay and we simplify this further so that 3 raised to power x multiplied by 3 after we factorized this is equal to 216 okay dividing both signs by 3 we have that 3 raised to power x this is equal to 72 okay so let's substitute the value of x. Let's substitute the value of x so that this is 3 raised to power. This is 2 plus rog 8 to base 3. Okay? This is supposed to be equal to 72. Now, from what we have here, 3 raised to power 2 plus rog 8 to base 3. This is in the form of a raised to power n plus m. This is actually equal to a raised to power n 
multiplying by a raised to the power m okay so let's apply this property so that you'll have 3 raised to the power 2 multiplying by 3 raised to the power rog 8 to base 3 this is equal to 72 okay now from what we have we have 3 squared which is equal to 9 multiplying by 3 raised to the power rog 8 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 72. Now, 3 raised to the power rog 8 to base 3. This is actually in the form of m raised to the power rog a to base m, which is actually equal to a. Okay, so let's apply this property. We have 3 raised to the power rog 8 to base 3, and this is supposed to give us a value of 8. Okay. Now, let's substitute this 8. Now, we have that 9 multiplying by this 8, okay? This is supposed to give us a value of 72. So, 9 times 8, this is actually equal to 72, okay? So, that means that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, okay? Now, and that verifies that the value of x, which is equal to 2 plus rock 8 to base 3, satisfies the equation okay so let me show you method two let me show you quickly method two how to solve this problem now we have that 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x this is equal to 216 okay so if you factor out 3 raised to power x this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 this is equal to 216 okay so this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 3. This is equal to 216. So let's simplify here. This is the same thing as 3 raised to the power x. This is equal to, if you simplify here, this is 7 and this is 2. So this is 72, okay? Now from what we have here, let's introduce the natural logarithm such that you'll have rog 3 raised to the power x. This is equal to rog 72. Okay, so applying the power rule property of logarithm, that is rog m raised to power n, this is equal to n rog m. Okay, now from what we have here, this is the same thing as um, applying this property. This is x rog 3, this is equal to rog 72. Okay, so we divide both sides by rog 3. Divide also here by rock 3. So that x is equal to rock 72. This is equal to, this is 1.85733. Okay. Divided by rock 3. Rock 3, this is 0 0.47712. Okay. And that gives us the value of x as... 3.8927 okay given that x is equal to 3.8927 let's verify applying method 2 if this value of x satisfies the equation okay so as as you might recall okay we have that 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to the power x, this is equal to 216. And we simplify it further as this 3 raised to the power x times 3, this is equal to 216. Divide both sides by 3. So that's 3 raised to the power x, this is equal to 72. All right? Now, from what we have here, let's substitute the value of x, which is 3.8. 8, 9, 2, 7, and see if this is going to give us a value of 72, okay? Now, if you, if you raise 3 to power 3.8927, this is the same thing as 71.99, which actually, if you round off, this is equal to 72, which happens to be 72. And that verifies that the value of x, which is 3.8927, applying method 2, satisfies the equation. So thank you for watching.
follow the steps and subscribe thank you